welcome to Suffolk TV. My name's Andra. We are in beautiful Tampa, Florida, and we are at one of my favorite booths. I think it's the most exciting booth here yes, at sure. Parasim. And yeah. this is Dave. How are you doing, Dave? Great. It's great to see you again. It, Thank you for having us again. Yeah, it's been uh, been a great show. It's like it has been for every year, and uh, this is our this is our client base, and it's wonderful to to be able to display our uh, parachute simulator. Uh, to our, to our clients and see new enhancements and, and how it's helping them in their training environment. And I feel this is really fun and exciting to watch, but the most important part of it is safety. That's exactly right. Uh, for, for the jumper, uh, without using the simulator, uh, when they experience a malfunction for the first time, usually it's under canopy. Yeah. And to be able to, to physically see and react to that uh, within the simulation makes it a, a more comfortable uh, uh, situation that they will recognize and understand the correct body movements in order to, uh, to clear the malfunction. And this is one of the most dangerous parts, is it not? That's right. The, uh, if you talk to an experienced jumper, they all talk about the, the fun of the flying part when you're in free fall. But where all the accidents occur is under canopy. And so this helps them prepare and have the correct mindset so that when, uh, when a malfunction or something goes wrong or just simple canopy control to, to fine tune them, it allows them to do that within the simulation. Wow. And so everyone's able to look back at their jumps and kind of learn from that, is that right? That's right. Uh, there's a full playback feature and it grades your jump and uh, it allows uh, the instructor to, uh, to zoom in on different aspects of uh, the jump and where they were in their profile and critique them. And so they can, again, refine those techniques and, and become more effective in the, as a jumper. And is there a way to do team jumps at all? Yes, uh, this uh, our particular simu simulator allows us to do uh, networking cr across multiple uh, simulators. It's really unlimited the number that you can have. So when you uh, when you start the jump, you can look over and see a avatar of your your buddy jumper, and then. Uh, and then follow them all the way down, join up, and then under canopy, then continue to do follow the leader down into the drop zone. For sure. So what do you see for the future for Parasim? Uh, where we're headed is to, uh, while we do team training now, uh, we feel there's a growth area within, uh, within Parasim to be able to bring in uh, drop zones from around the world using uh, global databases, train databases, which will allow us to uh, design and build a, a drop zone within a matter of a few hours so that you can jump today uh, into a drop zone anywhere on the globe and then climb on an airplane tomorrow and when you get out of the back of that airplane, you'll, it'll look the same as it did when you did it in the simulator. That's incredible. So should I give it a try, do you think? I think so. Uh, uh, you did very well last year. I, I, we'll see if you improved on your skills. How did I do? Excellent. So excellent scores all across the board. Your rate of descent is only six feet per second. Your forward and side speed are negligible. Overall score, excellent. Um, you're only 357 feet from the target, which is not too far a walk. That's not bad. Not, not bad. bad. At all, well, especially for a novice. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're quite welcome. <laughs> Our pleasure. Stay tuned for more exciting news on Suffolk TV.